What's up guys, back again here to review the brand new Storm Revenant, the Spectre Ball. It's got the same core and same cover as the Spectre. So let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna check out this new Revenant. Same uh, vector core and R3S pearl cover that was on the Spectre. But we didn't get to throw very long, so first shot here. Really, really like the colors of this ball. This ball is beautiful. It's got that uh, purple, but the blue mica Kind of similar to the um, Idle Pearl. If you guys remember that one, Idle Pearl. It was blue, but when you turn it in the light, it would actually change to purple. This one is pretty much the same, but it's purple. So it starts purple and then goes blue, and when you change the light, you know. run the eight over there. For me, I didn't get to throw the Spectre as long as I would have liked. Um, when the Spectre came out, it was around the time that the Wolverine had just come out and it was hard to choose which one I wanted to throw because they were in the same slot and the Wolverine just was a little more versatile for me. So I threw the Wolverine more and then of course, Spectre got hard band across all USB-C competition, so we didn't get to throw it very long anyway. Oh, that's up the lane. Oh, it let me get away with it. Throwing the Revenant here a good little bit. Um, I'll be totally honest with you. I have not liked the new Reactor Gloss on uh, a couple previous releases, so I did knock that off of this Revenant. I just felt it made it a little too clean and a little too, uh, you know, over under when it encountered oil or friction. So it is not reactive gloss. Oh, that was a terrible shot on my part. And I almost fired in there. So let's try to feed one to the friction. Um, and I normally do that with a lot of balls. Uh, either, you know, most of the time it's add to the review, but here recently I just haven't gotten along with reactive gloss. I, I'm not a big fan of polish anyway, because I like to throw it a little harder. Um, the, uh, I've just been hitting with a little bit of surface to get that shine off of there. Yeah, that, that one's better. Yeah, I finally get one of the friction there. For me, I'm looking at this ball. It's gonna be a nice benchmark type pearl. Um, exactly how I saw the Spectre. I was a big fan of like the rocket balls from years ago and around the time um, Spectre came out, it was the first Thunderline ball in recent years that wasn't either a, a road series or a um, urethane ball. So I was super excited to see something very similar to a rocket. Yeah, I think I was a little firm with that one and I got around it. And it was in the oil a little bit, so it just wanted to keep going. This ball is gonna be really good when you start to see transition, either in league or tournaments. It's gonna get down the lane a good, decent bit and uh, have that nice kind of arky motion. It does respond to friction pretty well, but it's not gonna like go left, say something like a Wolverine or a High Road, those type balls. Yeah, a little slower on that one and split the eight nine there. Okay, we're gonna go to the Spectre. Spectre has the same vector core, same R3S pearl. Let me get my switch grip here. 
Change it over to the Spectre. Like that. Oh, all right. Let's see what Spectre has to offer versus the Revenant. Got that one to the friction. I'll tell you, from what I'm seeing out of it, I think the Revenant, oh, here's that seven pin again. I'm, I'm seeing the, I don't know about you guys in video, but here personally, throwing the balls, I think the Revenant goes to the pins better than Spectre. I'm not really sure why that is. Could be the pigment, the red versus the uh, purple, because they both have black. It is a little different black in the Spectre uh, than the Revenant. Pigment makes a pretty big difference in my opinion. Brighter the color, the earlier and smoother they are. Well, Spectre must have heard that, because I said the Revenant goes to the pins better. And Reverend said, our inspector said, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, videoing right now, sorry. Sorry, I had a, had a viewer I'm videoing at the moment. shot. Alright, sorry about that guys. Alright, Spectre again. Yeah, I think they're pretty much the same. I've been hearing a bunch of things from a couple other people. Uh, Revenant is weaker. Revenant is faster down lane, slower down the lane. I've heard a bunch of things. And from what I'm seeing, they're pretty much the same. Let's go back to the Revenant. Switch over the switch grip. All right, back to the Revenant. Up, up the lane. Don't matter. This one just as special as the Spectre. So try again, USB-C. Try again. And I actually like the colors of the Revenant more, so it's also a bonus. Ah! All right. Should I just go back to the Spectre again? Because I'm enjoying this. I don't know about you guys, but they're the same. The exact same. They let me get away with the same errors. They go through the pins pretty much the same. So that first shot, I was like, oh, it doesn't go through the pins as well as Revenant. And I turned around and said, well, I do. So we're the same ball, that's why. Ah, maybe that's why that one was illegal. And I know I'm supposed to be kind of neutral on this situation, but uh, I'm not afraid to let you know how I feel about USB-C. There it is. There it is. I got forward. 
with that one. We're going back to the Revenant and we'll finish this up. to Revenant. Send it over there. Oh! Appreciate you, USB-C, because we made the same ball again. The same ball. All right, enough of that. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, the new Revenant is really, really good. Make sure you go and get it with the new Absolute. Uh, check out EFX.co or ApparelEFX.com. We are PBA approved. They got me looking really, really good for the 2023 PBA season. And yeah, uh, make sure you throw turbo products in there. If you use a thumb, make sure you get your switch grips. And that's all I got for right now. Please like, subscribe if you have not already. See you in the next one.